Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert uh, with Maths and Stats uh, and in this video, another video in our series of videos dealing with recurrence relations uh, is going to present uh, how to calculate the closed form solution to the recurrence relation that looks like, a bit like this. Uh, it's an is equal to some constant times an minus one, the previous term to an, uh, plus some other constant c. And also we have some sort of initial solution. We have uh, some initial solution in relation to in relation to a zero, we have a zero equal to a particular value. Uh, this particular, uh, this particular, let's say, derivation of this particular closed form solution is going to require us to have a solution to uh, the to the summation uh, associated with a power series. Uh, but let's get started. And what we're going to do first of all is we're going to the method of differences won't work with this particular type of recurrence. Okay, you can probably have a go at it yourself and see why. Uh, well, the main reason why is that when we try the method of difference, we have an minus b times an minus one plus c uh, is equal to c is is the is the is the differences, uh, and what happens is that every subsequent term uh, alternates between having a coefficient of a b and having a coefficient of a one, and there's no cancellation, there's no easy cancellation through the telescoping uh, effect. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to use iteration. So we're just going to explore this particular recurrence. Uh, by actually iterating through the terms in the recurrence itself, okay? Uh, so let's start off with A1. So when we look at A1, so we have A1 must be equal to, well, it must be equal to B uh, times, well, A1 minus 1 is A0. So it's B times A0 plus the constant C. So A1 is pretty straightforward. What about the second term? Well, the second term, A2, uh, is equal to b times, well, it's b times a2 minus 1, which is a1. And we've just figured out what a1 is. So it's b times b of a0 plus c. And we've also to add on the constant uh, plus c. Mm -hmm. Now, what we could do is we could expand this out here by multiplying out the brackets. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll multiply through the brackets. So we have it's b times b gives us a b squared a0 plus a b times c gives us a bc. And plus the hanging C that's hanging out here, or the dangling C, let's say, uh, plus C. So the second term uh, is basically the square root of the coefficient of the n minus 1 term, plus the coefficient of the n minus 1 term times C, uh, plus the constant. What about A3? So A3 is equal to B times, well, it's B times A2. And we just figured out A2 to be B squared times A0 plus BC plus C. And don't forget, we have to add on the C. So we have to add on a C here, which gives us, when we multiply out the brackets, gives us a B cubed times A0. That's the B times this term here. B times this term here gives us plus a B squared times a C. And the B times the C gives us plus a BC plus C. Let's just do one more. Let's say A to the 4. Let's say A to the fourth term. Uh, so A, well, it's actually the fifth term in the sequence because we start off at A, at a 0. Uh, so a4 is b times a4 minus 1 is a3. We just evaluate a3 to be b cubed times a0 plus b squared times c plus bc plus c plus the dangling c, which is plus c. Multiplying out the brackets, we end up with b to the 4 times a0 plus b cubed times c plus b squared times c plus c. B times C gives us BC plus the dangling C, which is a C. The key thing here to notice uh, is that this particular expression can be broken up into two parts. I suppose we need to do the nth term as well. It can be broken up into two parts. We can broke we can break it up into the term that's dependent on, on the that's dependent on the on the on the base case A0. Okay? And we can break it up into everything else. So here we go. We have the base term and we have everything else. We have the base term and we have everything else. And the important thing to know here is this, is that, is that in relation to this first term, you can see that it's clearly b to the power of the term that we're looking for, in this case, a2. So the index is 2. So it's b to the 2 times a0. In relation to the third term, this term here, you can see the third a, 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 the, the, at index 3, it's b to the 3 times a0 plus something else. And the fourth term, or the fifth term in the sequence, uh, a4 is b to the 4 times a0. So we seem to have some form of pattern going down here. 
okay, where the term, the first term in this particular expansion, yeah, okay, is b to the power of a number times a zero, b to the power of a number times a zero, b to the power of a number times a zero. And the number, the exponent, okay, the exponent is directly dependent on the index associated with the n term, uh, the term that we're looking for. It's a four here when we're looking for a four, it's a three when we're looking for a three, it's a two when we're looking for a two. Okay. I suppose we could take the a the the a one term and we could say.